Our next guest has starred in Brookside, The Bill, Waterloo Road, and is currently on TV as plumber Ronnie Hale in Emmerdale. But life in the Dales could be about to get even more dramatic if two of Ronnie's biggest secrets are finally revealed. Now, it's quite a complicated affair, so we've decided to take a very, very serious look at what's been going on. Ooh. You'll all know that Lawrence and I had a secret relationship many, many years ago but no one in the village really knows. Lawrence's daughter Chrissy thinks I'm her dad because she found the love letter she assumed I had written to her dead mother. Lawrence's current wife Bernice suspects something's been going on between him and me, but he insists it was me coming on to him. When I was in hospital after fire, Andy Sugden saw Lawrence holding me a hand crying. And by the way, I'm the only person who knows Rakesh burnt down cottages to claim insurance. It's just one big mess if I'm completely honest. <laughs> and John McArdle. Well, John body. McArdle joins us now from farm. <laughs> hey, John, <laughs> welcome. Um, what did you make of that? I didn't realise I was in such a mess. <laughs> 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 what is there been the response to this storyline? Because it's, uh, you know, I mean, as it's complicated. Well, it's yeah. controversial. Very controversial. I mean, it's quite huge. You've got two older gay men um, who were obviously uh, in, in the 60s it was illegal to be gay yeah. and in the case of uh, Lawrence's character he had uh, a version therapy to, to try and stopping being gay which is quite barbaric when you think back to it so it's, it's quite a, a really good Good it, show, it shows how times have changed, doesn't it? Mm. That this storyline can run now and no one is thinking bad things. They're all thinking, oh, what a fascinating mm. romantic triangle. Mm -hmm. it, you know, Britain's changed. Of course it has, yeah. I mean, but it, what it's caused this character as well is uh, it's caused this total confusion of his sexuality. Mm. And, and Ronnie, my character, is not coming in to out him to say you should come out and tell everyone you're gay. It's just to recognise that's what you are. And because of what you've been through, the, the traumatic uh, aversion therapy, then you should just talk about Have it. Have you become a, a gay pin-up now? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I, believe, <laughs> I believe a friend of mine works in China and there's a gay club in Shanghai thinking Ronnie and Lawrence are pin-ups. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... Uh, Brilliant. When yeah. you joined the soap, because it's quite recent, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I've only that, been in it four yeah, months. Yeah. Exactly. Did you know all about the storyline before? Is it one of the things that drew you to it? Because you've been in other shows, so to have yeah. something so sort of controversial well, must be Yeah, I mean, coming into a show like Emmerdale, which is huge, it's just won an award, and, and quite rightly so, because I, I, I watched it because I'd never watched it uh. much before to see what the standard was like the standard I thought it's so fantastic mm. and, but when I joined the company it's just a wonderful company to work for. Yeah. It's so friendly, the crew are great, the cast are wonderful, great writers and, and some icon actors. I mean, Freddie Jones is one of my favourite ever actors mm -hmm. and he's in Emmerdale. Do you look back on your time in Brookside with fondness? Because I do. Huge fondness. Huge. I mean, it, it launched my career in a way. It was my first uh, go at sort of long-term television. It taught me everything I, I knew about acting in front of a camera. Uh, and, and that it, was the it, first gay kiss? Of course. Of course, Anna Frail, wasn't yeah. it? And Brookside. Nicola Stevenson, yeah. which was wonderful. Yeah, it broke ground, I think, Brookside. Yeah. It sort of I think the soaps are at their best when they do it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. When they actually challenge stuff yeah. and they move society on, yeah. that's yeah. when soaps come alive. Yeah. And I think, look, Emmerdale's on fire at the moment. You're on fire. <laughs> the whole country's buzzing with your exploits. Yeah. <laughs> Must be yeah. exciting, right? It is exciting, yeah. too. And with all you know, the uh, referendum and all the political mm. upheaval, it's good to just watch a soap and watch some other drama exactly. that's going on somewhere well, see, else. I've watched them to realise that my own dysfunctional family is actually quite normal by, by comparison <laughs> to what goes on in those pubs, the wool pack. And our own dysfunctional relationship. Exactly. Uh, exactly. John, lovely to see you this morning. Thank you so much. Actually, a lot of people say, don't, don't spoil anything oh, really? for me. Yeah, yeah, it's changed now where people are right. Uh, don't say anything. I, I, I wouldn't anyway. I'm so well trained in sort of keeping... Very, Stum. very stum about everything. It's almost like, what, what can I say? Oh, no, that is OK. I, that bit's aired. Now, it's a well, rather different character you play in Upstart Crow, where you're much yes. cleaner. Yes. 